Hello again, everyone. Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. And I wanted to touch on a topic that a lot of people uh, ask me about fairly regularly, and that is how to implement retracting bow planes. And specifically today, I am going to be talking about uh, folding bow planes rather than extending bow planes. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. So what I've got behind me here is a 196 scale USS Nautilus. Uh, it's the 571 Nautilus, not Captain Nemo's Nautilus. Um, and uh, this was sent to me in a, in a pre-assembled state and the owner wanted me to refit it with a uh, current technology subdriver. So that's what I am currently working on right now. Now, it had uh, a folding bow plane mechanism in place and the engineering of it was actually really well done. The implementation was not. There was a lot of binding uh, going on and unfortunately I could not get it to work reliably. So I rebuilt it. And this is what uh, I have got here. So we've got the, uh, the folding bow planes uh, and you can see basically this is um, how those will work. They extend and uh, and retract, I got my wrong arms here, just like that. Um, so they fold up against the hull. Now the Nautilus uh, does not extend them fully flat, you know, like a, like a Gato or Gato class would, but that's really not a big deal. So these are gonna extend to, um, I don't know, something like that, I guess. And um, how it works. So um, we want to utilize linear motion from a servo, and that's what we've got here. We've got a control horn um, right there. I'm gonna see if I can get, there we go. And that is what provides the, uh, the impetus for the bow planes to extend and retract. So looking at it endwise, um, we've got a uh, linkage horn right here, uh, and that moves with the uh, L horn that I'm manipulating with my finger there uh, and you can see obviously this other shaft is rotating at the same time and uh, that is because there is a uh, just a set of double gears on the inside so that is as simple as it is um, so when these are extended uh, as you can see there um, you can uh, manipulate this linkage and that is what tilts the bow planes forward and backward. So um, it's a simple system. Um, I think it's really, really cool. It's fairly easy to implement. Um, really, the only thing that you need to source are a pair of gears, either nylon gears or metal gears. So that is it. Um, the one thing I'm going to mention, and I'll show this to you once I get this uh, set up there let's take a look so this is how it's going to sit uh, in the boat these are the uh, linkage outputs from the cylinder we've got two servos one is the bow retract and one is the bow planes um, so this will hook up to the retract linkage and this will hook up to the uh, bow plane linkage I would say uh, what I'm going to be doing here, rather than using my traditional magnetic connector, I'll be using a physical connection in there just because I don't want that to come undone. And there is a little bit of, of um, force that you need to apply and retract. So just to be sure, um, I'm going to be using a physical connection there, but a magnetic one here because this tilts uh, really, really smoothly uh, and really easily. So this is why I made this part. It's going to be integrated into that lower hull. Um, we want to have this accessible when we remove the, uh, the upper hull. So there you go. Um, bow retracts, folding bow retracts for uh, USS Nautilus 571 Nautilus. Hope that helps you uh, in your efforts to uh, make functional bow planes on your remote controlled submarine. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, email me anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. Love to hear from you. Uh, but with that, I'll leave you be to get back to your building. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time.